Hello friends, welcome to video series on geography. In the previous video we have seen about the intro introductory part of tropical cyclones. I have explained about what is a tropical cyclone and what are the favorable conditions for the formation of tropical cyclones. Along with that we have seen about origin and development, structure of tropical cyclone and, and the distribution of tropical cyclones. So in this video we will see about disastrous effects of tropical cyclones, one more important concept. First, let us check the intensity of tropical cyclones based on winds. They are divided into different categories and the first category we can see it is associated with minimal damage and the wind speeds ranging from 120 to 150 km per hour. So just round off the numbers so that it will be easy to remember. And moreover, these wind speeds or category cl classification is quite different in the world tropical cyclone systems where compared to the Indian tropical cyclone systems because uh, Indian Mete Meteorological Department have given a different classification but we'll see that in next slides. Now just we'll see an overview about how these winds affect the, the conditions in certain regions where the cyclone makes the landfall. And we have category 2, it is associated with a slight damage and the wind speeds ranging from 150 to 180 km per hour. So just round off for simplification, 120 to 150 and then we have 150 to 180 and the category is uh, 3 cyclones and from here the maximum amount of destruction begins so these cyclones are very worse and especially the cyclones that hit regions of western pacific like the typhoons and then the hurricanes that form in the gulf of florida etc usually touch this scale of cyclonic winds like category 3 cyclones where the maximum sustained wind velocities is about 178 to or 180 to you can say 180 to about 210 kilometers per hour again when we talk about maximum sustained wind velocity it is nothing but the maximum wind speeds over a period of time usually it is taken for 1 to 10 minutes so in different regions it is uh, ca calculated in a different uh, manner so in when with respect to hurricanes usually it is taken as one to five minutes so the maximum sustained winds are seen in the eye wall region we have seen about eye and eye wall eye is specifically a very calm region whereas eye wall is the most violent region with the formation of towering cumul cumulonimbus clouds and intense rainfall so this particular region has maximum wind velocities which are called as maximum sustained wind velocities so based on these wind velocities we classify this uh, classification of uh, tropical cyclones like category 1 to category 5. So if the maximum sustained wind velocity is between 180 to 210 km per hour in such a case it is uh, described as category 3 cyclone. Again remember that this is this classification only applies to rest of the cyclonic regions other than India. So in India that is especially in Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea we have a different classification and again we can see the category 4 cyclones which are the most uh, usual ones. So the cyclones end up as category 3 or category 4 cyclones. It is very rare that a cyclone touches the speeds of category 5 cyclones. So category 5 cyclones has maximum wind velocities about 250 plus kilometers per hour. So category 4 is from 210 to 250. So remember these numbers just round off them so that it will be easy to remember. So this is typically an important one for prelims. Now let us look at the con case in Indian Ocean. So till now we have seen only about typhoons and hurricanes, how they are classified into category 1 to category 5. But when it comes to Indian Ocean, we have a different classification. For example, we have a low pressure area which is not just a low pressure area, so it is not considered a cyclonic storm. In such a case, we have wind velocities ranging between 30 km per hour. So you can say this is a natural condition of a thunderstorm. So usually thunderstorms have this kind of pressure which is about 1 uh, h pascal lower than the normal conditions. Again, Pascal's, uh, Pascal is a somewhat complicated term, so we will not uh, go deep into this thing. But it is nothing but the difference or the downward scale of pressure change. For example, we can see here is it is neg negative pressure, that is the pressure is decreasing and it is associated with increase in wind speeds. So here we see it is 30 km per hour. In other case, we have depression. Depression is significantly strong low pressure and he, even here we will not consider this as a cyclonic storm. It is still considered as a convectional cycle like a thunderstorm. So it has wind velocities ranging from 30 to 50 kilometers. So remember these numbers, very important. And then we have a deep depression. Here we can see the pressure falls further 
and this fall in pressure is associated with increase in wind speeds and this is the first stage of building up of a tropical storm so from here we'll start considering the, considering this as a tropical cyclone and here it is considered called as a deep depression which is intense low pressure area which has wind speeds ranging from 50 to 60 kilometers per hour so from here we start it starts I mean uh, we uh, start classifying as category 1 to category 5 for example this deep depression is nothing but category 1 and then we have cyclonic storm which is category 2 cyclone in Indian Ocean and then we have severe cyclonic storm which is category 3 and very severe falls under category 4 and super cyclonic storm form, forms falls under category 5 in Indian Ocean so next we have cyclonic storm again with the falling pressure we have increase in wind speeds so 60 to 90 is called as category 2 or cyclonic storm and then we have the severe cyclonic storm so th the maximum scale destruction begins from here so till now till here we have only a small minor damage which is not so significant but from here the damage is considerable for example we have wind speeds ranging from 90 to 120 kilometers per hour and this is category 3 cyclone and this is the most common type of uh, cyclonic categories which are formed in the Bay of Bengal as well as the Arabian Sea and the category 4 cyclones are very destructive they have wind velocities ranging from 120 to 220 kilometers per hour for example cyclones like Hudud, Felin and other important cyclones which are formed in the Indian Ocean are usually this of this uh, strength that is category 4 strength and they cause significant damage for example Pailin in the year 2013 caused significant damage to the coast of Orissa and we have Hudud last year that is in 2014 which caused a great deal of damage to the regions of Vishakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh. So cyclones cause significant damage when they, lay, when they make landfall. So these regions especially like Vishakhapatnam where the cyclone made the landfall is the ones which has to bear the worst effects of cyclones. And next we have the most destructive and a very rare kind of cyclonic storm. It is called as super cyclonic storm. And here we can see the wind velocity is greater than 220 kilometers per hour. So this is the worst form of cyclone and it can bring a lot of uh, disastrous effects to the regions. And these kind of cyclonic storms are very, very rare. But if they strike, they can cause unprecedented damage to the region and there are very few cyclones which fall under this category for example when it when we consider hurricanes there was a cyclone hurricane cyclone called as katrina in the year 2005 which struck the region of southern usa that is the regions of pennsylvania and some regions like cuba florida etc and it caused about damage to billions of dollars as well as there were thousands of people who who, uh, who died because of this cyclone and other than that we have some uh, cyclones historical ones which are important like the Bola cyclone which hit the coast of Bangladesh and it killed about 3 to 5 lakh people in that region but this was not a severe uh, super cyclonic storm it was only about severe cyclonic storm to very severe cyclonic storm but during those years that is in 1970s as the technology was very novice there was no significant uh, disaster management systems which caused hugely by killing 3 to 5 lakh people so remember these categories, these are very important for prelims. So how are cyclones classified in different regions based on their intensities? We have seen that category 1 cyclones in India are called as deep depressions, that is in Indian Ocean. And then categories 2 are called as cyclonic storms, category 3 as severe cyclonic storm. And very severe cyclonic storm represents category 4. And super cyclonic storm is nothing but category 5. So if you take in the other regions like in Australia, US, and Northwest Pacific. So in Northwest Pacific, we have typhoons. In USA, we have hurricanes. And in Australia, in the Western Australia, we have uh, something called as Willy Willy Cyclones. The specific name given to, the, to them is Willy Willy. So we can see in the other regions, these category three to five are co uh, called with the same names. For example, a cyclone is said to have reached hurricane velocities if it is if it falls under category three cyclonic storm. So here and again typhoon is called a typhoon once it reaches the category 3 stage that is when the maximum wind uh, velocities is about we have seen uh, in Indian Ocean it is about sorry it is about 90 to 120 kilometers per hour whereas on the world map it is about uh, 180 to 210 kilometers per hour. So again they have from here they have the same names like severe tropical cyclone, severe tropical cyclone and severe tropical cyclone in all the three categories 
we have hurricane for all the three categories and typhoon for all the three categories so when we say about that the cyclones touch the wind velocities of a typhoon it simply means that it has reached the stage of category 3 and we have different names for, for category 1 and 2 so it is called tropical cyclones in the australian region and tropical storm in the uh, usa which are usually called hurricanes and we have tropical storm and severe tropical storm in northwestern pacific that is the region where the formation of typhoons take place so these particular things are important for objective type questions and the most important one this is this particular column that is what we call them in indian ocean that is bay of bengal as well as arabian sea so here the category one is deep depression followed by cyclonic storm severe cyclonic storm what a very severe cyclonic storm and super cyclonic storm let us look at a question. One of the following weather conditions is indicated by a sudden fall in barometric reading. Stormy weather, calm weather, cold and dry weather, hot and sunny weather. First let us look at calm weather. Calm weather is nothing but a region where there is no cloud formation. That is significant cloud formation is absent. And when there is no cloud formation there is, all, there is no rains. And this kind of condition is called as calm condition or a very stable condition. It is usually associated with subsidence of air. So we have high pressure system at the bottom. So this is associated with calm regions and cold and dry weathers. So cold and dry weathers are also associated normally with the subsidence. And again, we don't have fall in pressure in this particular region. Hot and sunny weather. So hot and sunny weather is important in creating a low pressure system. Usually the thunderstorms which are formed due to a low pressure system created by sun's insulation that is intense heat received from the sun. So here it's like a tie between option A and option D that is stormy weather and hot and sunny weather but let us look back at the question again which one of the following weather conditions is indicated by sudden fall in pressure so here the key word is sudden so both hot and sunny weather and stormy weather are associated with fall in barometric reading or increase in low pressure systems but when we call sudden it is only during cyclonic storms where the fall in pressure is quite sick quite sudden that is it takes place within very less span of time as a result we can say sudden fall in barometric pressure is associated with stormy weather so if we call about a uh, slow fall in barometric pressure then it would it would be associated with hot and sunny weather now let us look at disastrous effects so till now we have seen about different categories so again the disastrous effects also based are also based on the different category cyclones for example category 5 cyclone which is called as uh, super i mean super cyclonic storm is a very severe cyclonic storm and it can cause significant amount of damage so these kind of so storms are very rare for example hurricane katrina is one example for, for category 5 cyclone this year there was hurricane called as hurricane patrica which was in eastern pacific ocean that is near mexico western part of mexico so this cyclone was also a category 5 cyclone or category 5 hurricane but it didn't cause significant damage because of weakening during the landfall stage so the most important factors that in influence the destruction during tropical cyclones are storm surge and gales. Gales are nothing but very violent winds. So to uh, I mean, storm surge is nothing but a tsunami like wave which hits the coast due to the landfall of tropical cyclone. And most uh, damage to coastal areas is mainly due to storm surge and next due to the reaching of eye. The, uh, reaching of eye is associated with significant wind speeds and these wind speeds also cause significant damage and the other disastrous or the most adverse effect of tropical cyclones is intrusion of saline water so it disturbs the fresh water levels in the region so increasing the salinity all the groundwater becomes saline and this is a very bad thing for both crops as well as human lives and we have storm storm si uh, tide storm tide is nothing but uh, storm surge which, which is associated with the geo I mean geographical tides you know that what are tides are tides are nothing but the ones which are caused due to tidal waves caused due to suns and moons gravitational pull so we'll see that in detail later but for now when these tides coincide with the storm uh, storm surges in such a case the storm surges are very very disastrous and this particular component is called a storm tide so again other than storm surge we have strong winds in the eye wall we know that maximum sustained wind velocities occur in eye wall region so when the cyclone hits the coast usually when the eye wall touches the coast then the mo most amount of destruction due to winds is caused at that particular time 
so it, it depends on the velocity of winds as well for example till the category 2 the the destruction is very low but when the cyclone touches category 3 um, stage so its disastrous effects are very significant and if it forms category 4 or category 5 then it is complete complete annihilation of the whole region for example uh, during falen and hudud uh, cyclones which are of category 4 nature usually the destruction caused was very very significant so the airports everything were destroyed because of this kind of cyclones all the roofs fly away so category 4 itself is very very disastrous and category 5 is unimaginably disastrous so let us discuss in detail about storm surge which is important so we have seen storm surge is a, is a tsunami like wave we can see in this particular example how storm surge occurs and it is associated with the storm surge formation is associated with the low pressure intense low pressure center we know that cyclones are associated with very very low pressure so this low pressure creates very violent upliftment of air and this upliftment of air drags the ocean waters towards the center of the cyclone that is the eye region and this dragging of water creates a wave wave like condition that is when water gets piled up as a wave in a wave and acquires a wave shape and during winds we have very strong winds and these winds push this wave towards the coast so as the cyclone moves towards the coast it along with the cyclonic eye as well as other sustained winds it also carries this particular wave towards the coastal regions and once it makes the landfall it pushes this particular wave towards the region creating a storm surge or a tsunami like wave and this is a very very bad thing for the coastal regions it results in erosion significant erosion of course beaches and other things like that so the visakhapatnam beach which was destroyed during uh, the cyclone hudud is not at recovered uh, even now because these storm surges are very destructive and they can cause significant amount of damage to all the infrastructure near the coastal regions for example roads electric towers mobile towers everything can get destroyed because of this storm surge usually typical heights range few meters like 4 5 meters but this 4 5 meters are very very significant height is a very very significant height and let us look at regions which are worst hit by cyclones we know that there are specific regions for example in india we have regions like states like andhra pradesh orissa and some very rarely west bengal and bangladesh uh, this particular region in the indian ocean are worst hit by cyclones and along with tamil nadu and when it comes to western pacific that is this particular region even here the typhoons are very intense and they usually form 35% of the tropical whole tropical cyclone systems that is if you have 100 tropical cyclones in the whole year in every region then of that about 35 tropical cyclones occur in this particular ocean or pacific ocean so these cy cyclones are very very intense because this pacific ocean is a very huge ocean and it can carry a lot of warm water and this lot of warm water can create very strong cyclones or uh, typhoons so these typhoons are very destructive and they cause a lot of damage every year for the region like philippines so philippines is the worst hit by typhoons and it is the region which is worst hit in the world in the whole world this is the most adversely affected region because of cyclones and sometimes the typhoon might hit regions like vietnam china and especially when typhoon forms in this particular ocean that is south china sea this particular sea is called as south china sea and when the cyclone forms in this particular when the typhoon forms in this particular sea then it will be very adverse for the regions like china but this kind of cyclone formation is important for india because the minor disturbances which come from this particular region is important in bringing rainfall to the uh, regions of eastern and some parts of north india so typhoons are disastrous for this particular region but are, they are good for india that is certain parts in india and along with that we have arabian sea cyclones which are usually less disastrous because they or they bo they are born and almost get very weak within the ocean itself so usually they make landfall but while making landfall the intensity is quite low so they hit regions like pakistan as well as oman and these particular arabian countries and very rarely they hit coast of gujarat but when they hit coast of gujarat they can be very very violent and disastrous because they bring good amount of torrential rainfall sometimes even uh, the southern parts of rajasthan and gujarat were totally i mean adversely affected because of the cyclones in arabian ocean along with that we have hurricanes the most disastrous along with the typhoons typhoons are the most disastrous and later we have hurricanes which are equally disastrous 
So, for example, Hurricane Katrina, which formed somewhere in this region, got strengthened in this in its path and affected the regions of Bahamas Islands, and then we have Cuba Islands, and then he touched this particular coast called as Florida Coast, and then he hit this particular region which is called as New Orleans region or we have Delta of Mississippi River this particular region was worst hit by the Hurricane Katrina and there are cyclones which form in the Eastern Pacific so these cyclones are intense only during El Nino year El Nino year only that is uh, these cyclones in normal conditions are very weak but during El Nino years they are very strong for example this year that is 2015 is an El Nino year and this year we saw a category 5 cyclone whose wind velocities touched about 300 kilometers per hour and one such cyclone was called as uh, Cyclone Patrica so it originated somewhere here and made landfall around California and Mexican region but it got very weak once it uh, before touching this region so the intensity of, da of damage was completely low but when cyclones make <coughs> westward movement that is when they hit Hawaiian Highlands so these particular islands are called as Hawaiian, Hawaiian Islands which are example for hotspot volcanism so when these cyclones or hurricanes which are forming in eastern pacific hit this particular region they can cause significant un a significant amount of damage again there are cyclones affecting this particular region and willy willies cause not so significant damage in australia but uh, in some years they can be very disastrous so let us see which states in india are worst hit by cyclones there are cyclonic storms like category 3 ones and severe cyclonic storms and above that is category 4 and 5 so when it comes to category 4 and 5 cyclones the most worst affected states are andhra pradesh and tamil nadu here the landfall of these kind of cyclones may only mainly occur in these particular regions whereas when it comes to cyclonic storms usually the regions worst affected are orissa and then followed by we have andhra pradesh and then West Bengal. So usually West Bengal and Bangladesh are not significantly hit but sometimes there are violent storms here as well but most commonly every year the most destruction occurs in Andhra Pradesh followed by Tamil Nadu and Orissa. So this particular figure is very important. So let us see about different important cyclones based on intensities and recent times. For example we have the Bola cyclone it is caused it is the worst cyclone disaster because it caused the, the, the death of about 3 to 5 lakh uh, people in the regions of Bangladesh and West Bengal. So <coughs> Bangladesh was worst hit and this is the most disastrous cyclone that hit the region of Bangladesh. And after that we have a lot of cyclones especially cyclones in 1990s which hit the coast of Orissa. So they were also equally disastrous. But in during times due to uh, disaster ma improvements in disaster management we have less casualties but whereas the damage for property is quite high and Katrina is one such cyclone when there were thousands of deaths but the, it was it is most disastrous in terms of property for example it caused damage of up to 100 billion dollars worth property in the regions near Mississippi region and we have Palin which hit the coast of uh, Orissa in 2013 so this is a category 4 cyclone we can see the wind speeds they are below 220 kilometers in Indian Ocean. So we have this particular Katrina which is which has winds about 280 kilometers per hour. So the maximum sustained winds reached this particular velocity. It simply means that they are category 5 cyclones whereas Phelan and Hudud are category 4 cyclones. And we have Nilofer which was formed in 2014. And this year we see the formation of a cyclone called as Chapala which is occurring in Indonesian, I mean Arabian Sea at, particular, at this particular time. And it has touched, already touched the intensity of category 5 cyclone and it is most unlikely to reach category 5 I mean category 5 so it is presently in category 4 stage that is its wind velocities range from uh, range about 120 to 220 kilometers per hour so this is I mean this particular cyclone which is formed which is forming right now which is called as Chapala CHAPALA is a category 4 cyclone and in the last year there was a cyclone called as Nilofer which created a lot of panic but uh, luckily it didn't make a significant landfall uh, over Indian Indian regions so it made landfall somewhere else and it does, didn't cause a significant amount of damage. So this year we have Patrica which is a category 5 cyclone it is one of the most violent cyclones in the cyclonic history so it reached the wind velocities of up to 3 lakh I mean 325 kilometers per hour. So this is caused in 2015 in the Eastern Pacific region affecting Mexico and California regions of USA. 
So let us see about significance of cyclones. Till now we, we have seen only about negatives of cyclones. Now we'll see some positives as well. So they level down inequalities. That is, we have temperature differences as well as pressure differences. Cyclones help in leveling out pressure and temperature differences. And they help in exchange of heat between various latitudes, just like other winds. And we have precipitation, especially in India, the regions like Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh are heavily dependent on uh, the rains brought by cyclones because usually they coincide with the formation of northeastern monsoon winds. So these are very important in making these specific regions like Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh uh, have good amount of precipitation. Along with that, they also bring some disastrous effects as well, but that is very rare. And coming to associated weather, it is associated with very uh, quite a fall in temp uh, pressure and it is also associated with fall in temperature as well. The most important thing is fall in pressure. So this is all about disastrous effects of cyclones. I think you like this video. So don't forget to share this video and give your feedback and don't forget to subscribe. I'll be posting more videos. Thanks for watching.